Okay guys, so today we are once again doing another EDC update and today is January 2018 update and hopefully you guys have had a good start to this new year, but today we're going to be taking a look at what I'm carrying on my body for the start of this year, which is always kind of exciting. So to start off without making this too long is what's on my neck and what's on my neck as per usual is the good old exotac nano striker xl for a ferro rod and kind of survivally uh, kind of setup just in case then the next part is kind of defense and this is the pull force november one and this is my good old knife for just self-defense slash EDC slash survival, whatever it needs to be, it can fit a plethora of different circumstances. So that's what's on my neck. Next, moving down to what's on my wrists, I'm rocking the SNK803 by Seiko, just the good old SNK803, I've been rocking that for a while now. Then on this side, I'm rocking just your standard paracord bracelets. I rock a whole bunch of different ones. And then as per usual, the, um, <clears throat> what is it? C6 or carbon six, carbon ring with silver insert. And most of those things are pretty standard been rocking those for the past few months so you guys are pretty used to seeing those so now let's actually take a look at what's on the entire pants setup and i just brought the entire pants out here just for the sake of keeping it all in one kind of contained unit so first starting off what's on the belt and what the belt is is this is of course the hank's Hank's belt Highland is what this belt is. And then rocking on this belt, this is my pretty usual setup for the belt, is the Glock 19 fully loaded on a BCA or a Bravo Concealment BCA outside the waistband holster. And so that's what that is. And then around back, it's not completely behind me, but more kind of to the around six o'clock, well not six o'clock, but probably around four to five o'clock on my body is the is a Uncle Mike's double mag carrier. And this is of course rocking two magazines for the Glock. And so that's what's and the, these two is two magazines for the Glock 19. So that's double mag carrier and that's what that is. So the next thing on my belt is a multi-tool. And this is of course the good old Leatherman Surge. Hasn't changed in years and probably won't. So that is what's the basics for my belt. So now let's move on to what's in my different pockets. So starting off what's in my front two pockets, I'm not actually going to go to the knives at first, but what is in the front uh, right side pocket is my good old phone, and this is a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, and then almost forgot it, but there's a little pocket above the main pocket, and in that pocket is my Swiss Army, or not Swiss Army, but Victorinox Classic SD, and Burt's Bees actually changed it up on you guys. This is Coconut and Pear, so Coconut and Pear is in there and then the classic SD is in this little pocket you guys can see right here. So below that and the first primary knife is the Microtech Ultratech. Once again, as I explained in previous videos, this is one of my favorite EDC knives of all time. I really love it and it's an awesome OTF. It deploys hard and strong, you guys can see there. I kind of just like playing with it, but it's a really fun knife to have and it does EDC tasks, all joking aside and all fun points aside, it does EDC tasks very well. It's a very slicey kind of thin knife that does its job really well. So below that, transitioning to the cargo pocket below that, you guys can kind of see there. Uh, I don't carry much here anymore because I used to carry one spare mag down here, but now I just carry my flashlight down here. And of course, this is still the Mech Army SPX-10. This is not going to change until summertime because I like having a nice, powerful and bright flashlight during the winter months because it does get pitch black here. And so it's really important to have something to illuminate the night. So once again, writing instruments is just the Fisher Space Pen. Pretty basic, pretty simple, but it covers all that I need it to cover. 
so that's in that right side that is the entire right side basically covered except for the back pocket but we're gonna get to the back pockets in a little bit so moving over to the upper left pocket which is this side there's no small pocket above that so there's nothing in that because it doesn't exist but the thing on the left side or the knife on the left side is the ZT0550 sorry 0 0452 CF and it's an awesome flipper really enjoying this knife as I've mentioned in other videos past it's a really nice knife to have and really been loving rocking this thing because it is an awesome awesome knife so that's the ZT0452 gonna have to get used to saying that I'm so used to the 556 or 566 uh, by ZT then in this pocket once again is a good old Zippo I know a lot of people are like pitch the Zippo and get something more reliable I might get something more reliable but in honesty I still really like the Zippo lighter as far as it goes so then next moving down to this cargo pocket on the left side once again there's not a whole lot but the standard what I kind of introduced last month and that was just carrying the Psalms, Proverbs and New Testament Bibles just a small little Bible to carry easy to carry and it's always really nice to have the Bible or at least abbreviated Bible on body just for whatever reason or for whatever time you need to read the Bible because though some of you guys may not like it I do <laughs> so Moving on to the back pockets, there's not a whole lot here, but on the back right pocket, I just carry, um, what is it, a bandana, just a little green bandana for blowing my nose or using whatever I need to use it for. There's a bunch of different uses for that. And then transitioning over to the left side pocket, um, <clears throat> I'm just rocking my good old, uh, what is it? Travax Summit wallet and the Travax Summit with armor plate I should say technically so Travax Summit with armor plate on the left side and I generally rock the wallet on the left side because the gun for the most part interferes with the right side pocket so it makes it a little bit more challenging to get two stuff in the right side pocket so because I don't use my bandana as much and because the bandana is flexible and I can kind of shift it out and pull it in however I need to pull it out it's very easy to carry it on the right side whereas this all steel wallet is not pliable at all and it can be very hard to pull out if it was on the right side so that is the basics to my january edc it's a little bit chilly out here so i'm trying to get this video done a little bit faster and spare you guys some time because no one wants to sit and watch like a 40 minute edc update video because we're just going over very basic stuff as always my pants of choice though they vary in color are the carhartt ripstop pants these are just a standard ripstop cargo pants by carhartt i've really enjoyed these pants and they work really great for edc and they hold all of my plethora of stuff that people like to criticize me for so anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out